Hey everybody, it's Brett from moreguitars.com and we are here at the PRS factory and we are on the in the penthouse of the factory in SE land with Tom Walls from the SE. He's the lead inspector for Paul Reed Smith for the SE guitars and he's going to spew forth some knowledge about the SE line. Am I yeah. correct? Yeah, you are correct on that. Yes. What's like the the general like workflow of the SE line. So it comes in yeah. on pallets stacked high. Yeah. Sitting here for a little while. When they when you get the orders, you do what? Yeah, it comes in on a you know like a shipping container. Yeah. We unload a container downstairs, bring them up here, and um, whenever we need a sales order fulfilled or we just need to build up stock on certain models, we'll go out to the warehouse, grab pallets of the guitars we need um, every single day, and just keep a rotation going of different models. Acoustics, electrics, basses, um, customs, Tremonis, yeah. uh, whatever, whatever the whatever model need, is that yeah. we need for the day. And um, just open them up. Each box that we get has four guitars in it. We'll open them up and just kind of start from there, do a visual check, um, make sure everything's good, the finish is right, do a, a look over them. So is that like a certain group of people, like yeah. in this room over here? Yeah, this room over here, um, there's seven uh, inspectors. And then we have in this bench over here is a, a finish guy. So if there's any finish issues, <coughs> burns, lifts, stuff like that, we have a guy on hand who only does SC guitars and he'll um, you know, fix whatever we can. And then my job is to kind of oversee all of that and kind of be the final quality checker for everybody's work make sure everybody's you know up to the right standards that we have you don't you don't personally check every guitar though right I don't personally I kind of what we call a spot check so yeah. I'll kind of throughout the day go into the room and pull guitars off of a pallet that have already been checked yep. and try to check so like I said there were seven guys so I'll try to make sure I pick one or two from each guy throughout the day sure if there's anything wrong address it um, just every, to make sure everybody's nice and tight on their specs and calibrated to the right quality control cool. that we have so like the the one cool thing that a lot of our customers like is whenever we explain to them that yeah they're made overseas but let's start way back in the design phase of it mm. where they're designed to be amazing guitars yeah. no matter who builds them you know what i mean they're designed now they're made over there and in and, and there's i'm just I'm, I'm assuming there are like thresholds if there's yes. this many flaws they you send them back or yep. they get whatever so that's quality control right there that they have a factory over there that is trying to do the best they can so they have Correct. zero flaws then they come here and they get checked by people here in America in the factory mm -hmm. a lot of people love that you know when you can explain that it gives them a lot more peace of mind either by you know like a standard for 500 bucks it's a lot of money for a first guitar you know mm -hmm. or or a custom or whatever a regular uh, se you know that helps them justify spending six seven eight nine hundred dollars you know yeah i mean it definitely helps having that all those different uh kind of quality control checkpoints throughout the line not yeah. just factory builds it they send it to us and we kind of go yeah it's the right color send yeah them. They have a quality control team over in Indonesia and in China where the acoustics are made. They all ship here. We open every single one. It's not like we open a spot few. Check, yeah. yeah, I spot check all. the work of the guys, but the guys open every single guitar that gets shipped out of this uh, factory, SE wise. Uh, every single one is opened and looked at. So like when when the guitars go into the inspection room, mm -hmm. Like what is the, what's, is there a list that they have to follow? What all do you do? Yeah, we have a process. So you open the guitar, the first thing we tell them to do is do a visual check of the finish, the fit and finish, you know, cause we don't want them diving right into a actual setup. If there's a scratch on the guitar, they can get all the guitar set up right. And then they wipe it down and there's a big scratch it on it. So yeah. you wasted your time. So visual inspection is always number one, make sure the finish is good. <coughs> um, from there we do, um, you know, neck adjustment um, through the truss rod. We have a tool that measures uh, first fret height across each string. So we and we have a spec where you know there's a maximum tolerance and a minimum tolerance. <coughs> we have to get it within that. And there's also a tolerance between the strings. So yeah. you know the E can't be really high and the A can't be really low. There's kind of a, a slope it kind of has to sure, follow. Yeah. Um, Twelfth fret height. We use a ruler for that. Um, pickup height uh, from away from the strings. Yeah. Um, intonation. If it's a trem, the tilt of the bridge yep. forward and back. And also if you're looking kind of down the neck from the back of the bridge, tilt treble to base side, yeah. um, make sure the knobs are on right, make sure the electronics work, 
make sure nothing's out of phase, um, <clears throat> make sure the strap buttons are tight, all the screws are right. You know, there's a lot of lot more than just tuning it up and making sure, sure it yeah. plays. After all that's done, we play check it, making sure it does doesn't buzz. You know, put it to its paces, kind of, um, and then wipe it down with some rags and uh, case it up. Put the literature on it, who checked it, the date, what it was, and it goes out in the warehouse and sales is ready to place an Take order it. if they need to. Cool. So that's the whole process. So, about how long does it take, uh, it, barring like anything dramatic going wrong? Yeah. You know, like it's completely intonated wrong, or, but like, and on average, how long does it take one of the guys to go through one? I'd say from unboxing the boxing back on the pallet, um, 10, 15 minutes maybe. Um, it depends because some people, you know, you get done and you're kind of in the mood, you start playing and before you know it, you've been playing it for five minutes. <laughs> yeah. And then other people just play it and then, yeah. all right, it's good. So it varies. But um, 10 to 20 minutes. Yeah, if, if the guitar is pretty well built from uh, Indonesia and China, then yeah, 10, 12 minutes, some more. Uh, if there's a finish issue, we'll give it to Mike, who's our finish guy, and he'll fix it. Yeah. If not, yeah, 10 minutes. Some are a little less than that, but that's around average, 10 to 12, yeah. 15 minutes. And that's, you know, like all those QC things. It gets it in Indonesia. Mm -hmm. It gets it here. And then when, it, when, we set, when we put it out on our floor, if it's on the wall, we set it up then. Yep. And then if it's not, if it's still in a box, which most of our guitars are, when it ships to a customer, we get it out, do a complete setup again. You know, we don't change anything if it doesn't need it, obviously. Yeah, yeah. But, but yeah, just uh, the quality just throughout the line it is, out. Yeah. is really so, I mean, important. Three or four sets of different people's eyes. Yeah. You know, it can't go wrong. No, it doesn't so, hurt. Yeah. So, well, cool. So, how has, what did you do before you did SE lead inspection? Um, well, here I worked in the rough cut department for about a year. On core stuff? Yeah, so yeah. basically that's where all the wood and lumber form came in. Sure. And we would just cut it down in the body blanks and neck blanks and stuff like that. And yeah. I worked there for about a year, and then they needed a, uh, an extra person in the SE department. And before I worked at PRS, I worked at a guitar shop. So I had some you know, setup experience, tech experience. Yeah. So I got hired in this department um, about a year after I got hired in, onto PRS as a whole. And I've been doing... SEs for the remainder of my time, and then I just switched over to lead SE Expector around a year to eight months ago. Cool. So, Congrats. That's no, awesome. Thank you. Yeah, yeah man. it's a great job. I, I really like it. <laughs> cool. Well, cool, man. I Well, that's about all I, the uh, info I can think of to ask. So, right. appreciate it, man. Yeah. Have a good night. Thank you. You too.